Hi, it's Dwyer, keeping it free .blogspot.com. You know, the biggest problem that Brian Williams faces right now is the nature of the helicopter story. At a time when the mood of the country is such that we are helping make movies like American Sniper blockbusters, right? Chris Kyle's killer is now on trial. People are very sensitive to anything involving the military, right? So, when you hear that a news anchor has exaggerated a story involving the military, right, placing himself in a helicopter under assault, under fire, you're going to have a vocal group that feels that he is literally trying to take glory away from the men and women of the armed forces. You know, let's remember that Brian Williams' story is more than 10 years old. He's had a long career since then, right? He has a, a body of work that's far more extensive than the exaggeration, the falsehood, that he told about being in the helicopter. But now we have a gateway into criticizing everything Brian Williams has ever said. Right now, of course, we're finding out that he told some tales that might be tall tales about his time in New Orleans during Hurricane Katrina. Right? I believe what ultimately is going to happen is that the people upset with the military part of the story are not going to let this go. Right? They're outraged. In the military, unlike other parts of life, right, uh, exaggerations about what you did on the field of battle are frowned upon. We want to believe that everyone wearing a Purple Heart or similar medal earned that medal. Right? It's a big no-no for a military guy to claim that he was in a battle or under enemy fire when he was neither in the battle nor under enemy fire. Right, And so the problem is NBC News is going to be focused on their ratings. They don't want protesters who have a legitimate beef because Brian Williams has admitted to lying about being under enemy fire, right? They don't want protesters with a legitimate beef pointing out that this news anchor doesn't fully respect military culture, right? I believe Brian Williams is going to have to take more than just a few days off. I think he's going to have to take several months off. I don't think this story is going to die down. I believe the sponsors of the newscasts on NBC are going to be very sympathetic to protesters who believe Brian Williams has looked down on military culture. Right? Because, of course, many of the sponsors, number one, are very patriotic. Number two, are themselves former military personnel. Right? I'm not sure if the man on the street fully understands how big a faux pas Brian Williams made. This isn't just an inaccurate story. Right? This is a story that's an affront to anyone from military culture who values accurate reporting of military events, right? So um, Brian Williams has a far bigger problem than any of us 
want to admit. I'll agree that it's unfortunate that an entire career can be brought down by one lie. But unfortunately, this lie is big enough where it could do just that. You need to ask yourself, right, in a country right now that has made American Sniper a blockbuster, that is very sensitive to the concerns of veterans, especially those returning from combat, right, that understands, you know, that's had a VA hospital scandal and that understands that it needs to treat its military personnel, its veterans, better than it has been. In that kind of atmosphere, how can you have a news anchor who's actually claiming to have been under enemy fire when he wasn't. Right? Many people are going to be angry just looking at him as he goes forward. Also, what sponsor is going to have the willingness to publicly say that making up, you know, fake military adventures, claiming falsely that you were under enemy fire is acceptable to them? is not a big deal. In fact, isn't the climate just the opposite? If you're going to make a mistake, you want to make the mistake on the side of patriotism, right? You want to you want to make the mistake in saying, "Hey, let's be completely accurate here." Right? I was in a helicopter. It was a different helicopter that got hit. Right? You want to make a mistake on the side of accuracy rather than recklessly claiming that you were under fire. So what I think is going to ultimately happen is um, Brian Williams is going to be replaced as the news anchor at NBC. Right? Maybe he'll get other assignments in an effort to rehabilitate his reputation. But just understand, He's going to have a very hard time doing that in front of those who adhere to the idea that misrepresenting your military experience is a big offense. It wasn't so long ago in a presidential election here in the United States that we had a situation where a Purple Heart winner, John Kerry, had his military hero credentials questioned by a group we called Swift Boaters. Right? That's how serious the issue is. Let's understand it's not just the exaggeration, it's the context of the exaggeration that, quite frankly, has pretty much torpedoed Brian Williams' career, in my opinion, for at least the next few months. I'm not saying it's fair or unfair. I'm just saying that we should all understand the severity of the lie slash exaggeration. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at keepingitfree.blogspot.com. Thanks for stopping by.